Hi everyone and welcome to Billy Fitzgerald Golf. And I've gotten a few comments and uh, su suggestions in of can we talk about the loop? And what I mean by that is, is how the club loops or shallows in the swing. I think it's helping a, a lot of people out um, and we'd like to kind of go further into that. You know, why, what, what is the idea? We need to create a picture of why the loop helps uh, so many people. So the loop, if you've seen on previous videos, is simply as I take the golf club back to the outside, I loop it to the inside. Okay, so I take it back outside and I loop it to the inside. So what that does is it, it gets me going into a favorable kind of condition or angle into the golf ball to hit it better than where most people do is they come over the top. So most people do the opposite where they take it from the inside because they, they want it, they know we want to hit it from the inside. So we take it away from the inside and then we have to go the other way. So we kind of reverse that motion. So, so why does that help so many people? Well, you know, a big thing in our industry is shallowing the club where the club goes up on one plane and it's a little shallower coming down or it's, it's a little more inside um, than where it came up from. So some people do it with their hands, some people do it, um, you know, with their body, some people do it with their arms, you know, which, which one should you do? Um, I would say, you know, try them all, whatever works best for you. I know it's helped me the most um, is feeling like the arms shallow because anytime I get the face of the club, once I get back here, Anytime I get the face of the club way back here, things get, in my world, things get a little complicated. Now I gotta shut the face because of where the face um, is going and then I have to have a certain amount of rotation to catch the face up with the rest of my body. So it's, it's a way to do it and if it helps, if it works for you, then great, keep doing it. But what I'd like to do is kind of get into how the loop works as far as your arms. You wanna feel like you shallow your, your arms so it, I think for me it's not as complex of move um, and those for I think for most people that are looking for simplicity so again all the loop is is it goes outside and it works in okay and what I'd like to do with this video is relate that you know to the most important spot in golf which is impact and why the loop relates so much to where we want to be at impact I mean that's the that's the tell of, of what we're trying to do so Again, the loop would go out, out here, and then my arms would actually feel like they go out and they shallow. I'm trying to feel like I shallow my arms out so, the, so I can hit the ball from the inside. Now, there's a, there's a few things that you want to look at when you're trying to make that motion. You know, A, what is your body doing? What is your setup doing? And, you know, what, what are your arms and golf club doing? So, um, I guess the, the biggest thing that I would say is that when you're, when you're working with this, the picture that I would create, that is if the, if the club is going to work and loop to the inside, then my body's got to be able to respond to that to make room for it. So it's right shoulder, right hip is almost going to feel like it works. Everything's going to work to make that happen. So you, so you can see my, my right hip actually does kind of a little kind of a little half circle and it kind of gets out of the way and when my right hip works this way it kind of pulls my chest and my right shoulder out of the way so then I can feel like I come from the inside and I feel like I've got that that loop going on so if I were to say if, if you're going to practice you know a small motion that would that would help you tremendously it would it would be able to tie the loop in in other words what the club is doing basically a half circle with what your right hips doing so they're all kind of doing the same thing so when the club works out this way everything see my right hip starts to work back so my arms have room to work to the inside so my right hip kind of does a half semicircle and my hands work right right towards the inside of my thigh so basically i'm trying to feel like my hand gets right there when i hit it we talk about those corners and where that basically right over my toe. So when I, when I would hit some smaller shots, I start to feel that my right hip and shoulders start to work out of the way and my hand works right here. What you can see is very different than me getting here, dropping the face and then trying to shut it and twist. Now I just want you to feel like your right hip works out of the way and your palm, basically my palm comes from the inside. So if we were gonna hit a few, doing that out of the way and then my palm kind of starts to work to the inside. So if I were just going to hit a little one 
again, right hip socket works out of the way and my arms kind of do a loop, but my palm stays down to the ground when I hit this. So it's out of the way and my palm kind of stays down to the ground. So I, so I keep the club face square. Okay. So there's not a lot of, um, you know, very complex things going on when I do that. We'll do that one more time. Again, so as I swing, I'm feeling like the club goes out and my arms shallow in. In order for my arms to shallow in, my right hip, right shoulder have to get out of the way so I can hit my golf ball. So you can start to see that kind of motion rather than what most people do is here and then they're steeping over the top of it. We're going to do the opposite. So we feel like it's back and then you can just run the face right into the golf ball. So we get ready to go and feel your right hip, right shoulder get out of the way and my arms work from the inside and down the line a little bit more. Okay, so let's, let's take that kind of motion and put it back into my impact position. So if I can get another ball on the tee and let's go over impact position and let's try to marry the two. Anytime we're doing something in the swing, it's a, it's a good idea to, to make sure that we can attach it to our impact. You know, the, basically the, the holy grail moment if there is a moment in the golf swing. So again, if I get into my setup position and then I go to my impact position and I start to work my way back, so I know this is kind of the motion that I want to go into the golf ball, right? So you can see what my palm's doing. You can see my right hip is not any closer to the ball. My left hip's starting to work. Okay, so if this is, if this is my impact right there, so again, we got impact coming in. Let's marry that. We need to be able to feel like we can, we can put a bow on feeling how your, how your arms shallow and your, and your body works and how that works into your, into your uh, impact position. So without a ball, if we got ready to go and we went to impact, okay, that's where I want to be at impact. Okay, now if I kind of worked, worked what we were doing with how your hip works and how your arms shallow, you can start to see how impact is going to show up. So I'm going to start to see how impact's going to start to show up pretty easily. Again, if I started working here, so that's impact, and then I start kind of working the loop so, so that you can see how they marry pretty easily in what we're trying to do. Now, if I went inside over the top, and I got here and I went inside over the top, right, it'd be almost impossible for me to, to get back down into a good impact position. Now, I think that's right away, that's why the loop helps so many people. It's because at least it gets us coming from the inside and it gets the face of the club working, you know, where we can get the face on the golf ball. Okay, so what I'd have you do, we'll do a practice swing. We'll go to impact. Okay, I got my impact position. And now I'm going to feel like I do the loop right into impact. So loop right into impact and that would be a, a great how you marry those two would be a great practice session so if i got ready to go here i'm gonna go right into impact okay then back now i'm gonna feel how i how i loop and get right into impact again so that starts to give you kind of a, a little mini sensation of what we're trying to do so my hip gets out of the way and now my arms can shallow and now i can come into the ball Kind of pretty closely where I want to go into impact. So again, all the loop is is the club comes down from the inside a little bit more than it went back on. The more we take it to the inside, the more you're going to come over the top. But I think one of the most important things is that you can relate impact with anything that you're doing in the swing. So for instance, for here, we're starting to feel how your arms start to shell and we start to have a little bit of a looping motion, how my body gets out of the way and now I can find impact. So that's this is a great way to practice, great way to warm up and mim mimic your swing after this and start to build your swing, you know, after this model and make sure that these things are taking place when you swing the golf club. I know this is going to help you. There's no question. Um, again, if you have any questions, send me, send me your comments, but I hope, hope this helps and we'll, we'll keep working on this, you know, on this loop, the shallowing of the, of the club, because that's how we get into our best position to play our best golf. Hi everyone, like and subscribe to my channel, Billy Fitzgerald Golf, for all tips on golf. If you'd like a live lesson or want to send me a message, visit me at billyfitzgeraldgolf.com.